Hi, hello, everyone. Hello. Thank you, Norman. Yeah, I'm very happy to be here. Thanks for your presentation. Thanks for your presentation for me. Uh, actually, guys, I'm very happy to be a part of this fabulous event. Uh, such a shame that I can't be here at the place uh, with you now. Uh, but anyway, I'm very happy to be here online because I have a lot of interesting stuff to share with you today. Everything and or everything about the e-commerce. So as I was presented already, so yeah, again, very shortly, I'm Natalia, Head of Marketing at SEMrush Market Research. Uh, SEMrush, uh, just a few words, a worldwide well-known marketing platform for covering all the digital marketer needs, and also it's a digital data provider. So we don't have a lot of time, so I have a lot of slides, and let's do a quick overview of the digital state of e-commerce industry. So the global e-commerce market has experienced huge growth since uh, the start of the pandemic, right? So uh, there are some large spikes in online shopping and everyone uh, in e-commerce knows about that. And uh, all year over year growth uh, in e-commerce is at like around 30%, which is really huge. They can take account the uh, volume of traffic and money in e-commerce, right? So um, if you look at the hardest months for e-commerce, it's spring and winter holiday months in November 2020. Uh, traffic uh, reached all high, uh, all time high. And but while traffic data shows the great interest in online shopping remains high, so we see that this is definitely higher than it was in 2019. But it uh, stopped growing so much. Um, actually, in dollars, the same stuff, like in terms of uh, business money, uh, the e-commerce industry performs uh, an amazing growth, right? And we've seen the similar pattern with the traffic and actually COVID fueled all these trends. So um, mobile traffic still dominates the e-commerce industry as other industries as well, with more than 50-60% of online shoppers. Uh, but as more people stayed at home on the web, uh, on the go web uh, surfing became less uh, popular. And a lot of users turned to good old desktops. So today, desktop traffic exceeds the pre-pandemic level by 60%. And this is a really huge trend. Uh, since the start of the pandemic, desktop usage has grown. And during November 2020, mobile desktop breakdown did extremely close together. So in the commerce industry, don't disregard desktop. Desktop traffic share is comparable to that one of mobile. So e-commerce boom has taken over the entire world. And yeah, there was no surprise here to see uh, in top countries, uh, the countries that bring in the most traffic, the e-commerce sites, uh, the countries with the highest GDP. Uh, across the globe. So we see United States, we see United Kingdom, uh, and we see Germany at the top of the list of countries that bring in the largest share of online shoppers. Uh, the rest of the list also makes sense with the top 10 countries by GDP. So top e-commerce players, uh, there is no surprise here in uh, Amazon, eBay, and Walmart. Um, they really uh, gave the largest traffic share globally uh, for e-commerce. And we see Walmart, uh, Walmart has a growth rate of 21%, which is the highest one in 2021. In top 10, we certainly see some uh, Asian companies uh, like Rakuten and AliExpress, and they are a real force. Still, China-based AliExpress has the biggest year-over-year -year traffic drop of 90%. The reason can be uh, different uh, can be related to the supply chain or smart marketing tactics of other players on the market. Who knows, but the pattern is here. So um, Amazon actually dominates the commerce market in almost every country, but there are some strong regional market players in a way. Uh, Amazon is number one in North America and uh, Europe. In Europe still, uh, we see the Netherlands-based Ball.com and China-based 
AliExpress at the top. But the biggest differences occur within the MIA, Middle East and Africa uh, region, LATAM and APAC. So the MIA top three brands are all Turkey based. And there is no surprise here because the country has been one of the fastest growing, uh, grow, uh, has the fastest growth trends within the e-commerce um, uh, in the last five years. Uh, in Latam, uh, most popular retailers are also local. Uh, it's uh, Argentina-based uh, Mercado Libre and the same um uh, the same e-commerce in Brazil and also Brazil-based Americanas. So in a pack, top feature, uh, top uh, featuring countries uh, are more familiar, familiar brands for us, uh, like Rakuten and Flipkart, because this is brands like everyone knows and uh, they are well known on a global scale. Uh, what about Europe, right? In top 30 of the most visited e-commerce uh, websites in Europe, we see 13 from UK, 11 from Germany. Uh, in the whole, in the top uh, 30, we count nine countries like UK, Germany, Spain, France, Poland, Italy, Netherlands, Belgium, and Ukraine. Curious that while German Amazon is the most visited European regional uh, Amazon website, the biggest regional eBay is from UK. And there is no surprise, but it surprises that uh, German eBay is the second largest. So uh, as we can see, the market, uh, e-commerce market in Germany is really, really strong. So there are huge potential on the European markets for e-commerce. Total addressable market for e-commerce is really big in Germany, and the same in France, and the same in Spain, and actually in other European countries. According to researchers like this one from Statista, we see that trends of the e-commerce market revenue grows by 2025, and the growth is really high. So um, now, I Let's talk more about winning strategies of e-commerce brands because this is, they are something that we can learn from them, like uh, taking their best practices. So first of all, uh, we look at the overall traffic acquisition patterns and we see that direct traffic here dominates the entire e-commerce industry. So evidently brand awareness is the most powerful tool for e-commerce marketers. Uh, it also seems that search and referral, they are going like together at the same level for being the uh, second most important traffic source for e-commerce websites. So it means that um, strong marketing partnerships and SEO efforts and link building efforts can be a great option to winning traffic acquisition strategy. So several words about most uh, popular products on uh, the top and giant websites of e-commerce like Amazon, eBay, and Walmart. So the most wanted products on Amazon are AirPods and the Fire TV stick with Alexa Voice remote and pandemic-related rapid tests for COVID. Uh, eBay's visitors also love, uh, love headphones, but they prefer Harman Kardon and GBL, not AirPods. Walmart shoppers seems to be most interested in gaming. So Sony, PlayStation 5, and Xbox at the top of the most wanted things uh, in Walmart. Uh, but we also can see how seasonality impacts the most trending searches internally on an retailer website. Like, for example, the, there is an example from Amazon. We see electronics, clothing, uh, health and beauty stuff, um, other stuff as well. And bathing suit cover up in April, just before the summertime. And the 4th of July t-shirts in right in time, like in June. Curious that the most expensive products on Amazon and average are in digital tech category. And yeah, the average check is really high, followed by sports uh, products and home and garden and entertainment, while the last two are very close together. So uh, interesting that marketplaces use different emotional triggers uh, to make people click or choose one e-commerce over, uh, over another. So, Words like 
uh, free shipping and free easy return are used across uh, the, um, the all marketplaces uh, ads, but also we see some uh, featured and interesting um, differences, like the farmer-related retailers like CVS uh, feature COVID testing, there is no surprise here. Uh, like calls, for example, often emphasize uh, sale alerts um, they propose and easy online shopping experience for users. Best Buy, but on quick delivery, very smart, right? Uh, they propose uh, one hour delivery. Uh, so that's target, but they offer us uh, one day delivery, which is yeah, not so competitive here. Anyway, uh, eBay, um, very focused in proposing top brands. And Etsy, unlike the rest of uh, the retailers, underlined the secure shopping, which is also important. So uh, I have several slides about other trendy things uh, we can take into account considering the strategy in 2022 and 2023 as well for e-commerce. So the first one is uh, sustainability. So it's true that Consumers prefer sustainable brands, so especially young, uh, young generation, younger audiences. In the past five years, uh, monthly globe searches for term sustainability have skyrocketed, has grown more than four times. And uh, many brands are transitioning away from plastics and uh, they're proposing more ecological um, things. And other companies uh, include product information about recycling and so on. The second one is really close to that, but still it's a little bit different. So the second one is, is about upcycling, vintage and secondhand. So we see Poshmark and Depop are two leading platforms focused on secondhand clothing that have a solid cruise, really solid cruise. Uh, Zalanda and Ikea um, already have secondhand sections and many uh, additional companies offer rewards for recycling, for different type of recyclings. And Apple's, uh, Apple and Best Buy also offer deals on refurbished items. Number three trend uh, for me is about cryptocurrencies. Uh, everyone knows about cryptocurrencies right now, and top cryptocurrencies websites have seen massive spikes in traffic over the past few years. Like that was skyrocketing, um, and already PayPal and Visa have included uh, cryptocurrencies with their offerings, and. You know, like Salvadoran government has accepted crypto as official form of payment. So the technology becomes more and more mainstream. The next one about home delivery service, uh, that was really rapidly evolving. And uh, since the start of pandemic, that was a really crazy growth. And now, especially millennials and Gen Z are driving demand to that. And companies are getting more and more creative to meet their needs. And the fifth one is about D2C or direct to consumer sales. So the idea of D2C or direct to consumer sales has been growing uh, in popularity over like past five, six years. Uh, it's cool uh, because manufacturers and large wholesalers win creative profits by offering their product directly on marketplaces and offer consumers lower prices as well. So everyone is happy. Uh, and so no question that this trend will continue in 2022. And final words for me. Uh, so examine your brand, build an understanding who you are and who your customers are. It will help you to choose the marketing strategy, really satisfy your customers and strongly grow your revenue. So that's it from my side. I added the QR code if you are interested to examine the full version of research because there are a little bit more information that I would share here and some um, experts advice as well. And thank you very much for your attention. Uh, it was really such a pleasure for me uh, to present all this stuff for you. Uh, I hope that you, uh, you will find it really useful for you. Thank you very much.